Hello on YouTube. Today I thought I'd do my newest Little People Big Dream spook, Corazon Aquino. And here it is. Shall we begin? <coughs> this is the story of a little girl born in a country with thousands of islands. This country is called the Philippines. And the girl was Maria Corazon, but everybody called her Cory. At school, Cory learned how to write, count and take a step forward when it was needed, when one of her friends had to leave the city before giving a speech in front of the whole school. It was Cory who took the responsibility to speak for him. She was still very young when her parents sent her to study abroad in America. Cory went on to gain a degree in mathematics and French, but she had great sense of justice and returned home determined to become a lawyer. Cory was studying law at university when she became close with a student as honest and as bold as, he, as her. Her name was Benigno, which means good man. The people who loved him most called him Ninoy. Cory and Ninoy were inseparable, and when Ninoy decided to become a politician to help improve the lives of all Filipinos, <coughs> Cory sold her most beloved heirlooms to help him. That's nice of her. Before long, her husband was the toughest critic of a dishonest president who was ruining their country with unfair with his unfair laws. When Ninoy was arrested, Cory wrote her first speech and became his voice. One day, the president decided that he would make all the decisions without listening to his people. He had turned into a dictator, and after almost eight years in prison, Ninoy, Cory, and their family were forced to leave the country. The Aquinos moved to Boston where they spent the happiest three years of their lives. <coughs> but Cory knew that Ninoy had to go home and try to restore democracy, giving power back to the people. Sadly, Ninoy had, Ninoy had just landed home when he was killed. Cory was now all alone and yet she wasn't. Millions of people threw aside their fear and stayed by her side at the funeral, showing their, her their love and support. The task had fallen on Corey's shoulders to continue her husband's work, and she decided to run for president. When the greedy president faked the results of the election, she knew a revolution was about to start. During four long days, millions of people, armed with courage, took to the street and proclaimed Corey president of the Philippines. It was a victory for democracy and the end of dictatorship. <coughs> The whole world was watching when Cory became the first female president of the Philippines. And there she was, the courageous woman who brought democracy back to the country with thousands of islands. And by being brave, reliable and honest, little Cory wrote herself into the history books. And more importantly, she wrote herself into the hearts of, their, of her people. Wasn't that a good story, everyone? Hope you liked it. 